So I bought a new roll of aluminium foil. Ooh. It's 50 micron thick with adhesive backing. Got it from aluminiumfoil.nl website. I bought this roll especially for uh, base panels because it's thicker than the 30 micron I got. And they have it like up to 100 I believe. So 0 0.1 millimeter, quite thick. Well, it's on there. Hope it stays. So this is gonna be a uh, cut. That's uh, so I'm gonna do it in like two takes. Like first piece, then move the whole thing, then do the second one. I've never done it with such a huge piece, to be honest. So this thing is sitting against this beam, which I aligned with the um, the Y axis. So. I'll cut the first piece and then I can like pull this back until uh, oh that's a good thing until I can line the zero point to a marker here that the machine makes but uh, I just thought about it I removed this marker here which is quite needed so I have to put that in again so let's change the blade because there's a 30 degree angled blade in there and usually that's uh, used for very thin materials and since this is much thicker than the common stuff I do I'll replace it with a 45 degree blade and hopefully that works but you never know I also might need a little bit of extra weight Go. So there are lines. So it did cut. I guess. I hope. So I lined it up within like a half a millimeter or so. Check if it's still correctly against this beam. Then I should be able to load piece number two. Let's go. I did something ridiculous, I think. <sighs> that sucks. So this one is <coughs> screwed. I somehow, the second program starts off more in this direction. I'm not sure why. Oh well, well, at least I can test if it uh, did, it, did it cut. Or do I need to add more weight? I have to do it a second time, that's for sure. So if you look here, it did in fact cut. So now what I was wondering about, can you remove all the material except for the stuff you want to... Yeah, you can. You see? So this is actually quite nice. Except for the fact it fucked up. Because I made a mistake. I was worried I would, uh, I would make a mistake and apparently I did. But this works 
Cool. Oh, well, I'm gonna take a look at the code. So I think I corrected the, the program. I'm pretty sure there was indeed a uh, error I made. Um, so yeah, let's try this and I can increase the speed a little bit. I don't need to go so slow because I noticed it did cut perfectly fine. So uh, here goes nothing, I guess, once more. <laughs> Now it's time to line it up again. So I'll move the cutter. Hey, that looks. Mm, I might have to redo it once more. Hey, that's weird. So you don't see much, but I can show you what happened. So, somehow, it cut sideways as well. But why? <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to do. <sighs> I'll take a look. If the program is correct, then it has to do with that one not lifting high enough. So it's just, you know, cutting wherever it wants. Apparently that's the case. So it did cut here as well, I believe, yes. So it might be that, yeah, so it, 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 it caught it at every rapid as well. So that means that either the, <laughs> the uh, height of the cutter is wrong. Let's check that real quick. It's incredible noob mistake. So either it it slipped like that, or I I didn't zero it. I know, but I zeroed it the previous time, so I assumed it should be okay. Should have zeroed in. Anyway, so now what it did is it, it cut everywhere it moved. <sighs> that's one, that's another one gone. Let's uh, give it a new foil once more. So, reset and uh, well, third time is a charm, is that the expression in English? I don't know, well, this is the third time. And it will work. God damn it. So this time I want to see a clean cut without side cuts. And it's all sitting okay. Now load program two. If I can reach my mouse. There we go. Here it goes. Nothing. So, I couldn't see in there, but I thought this piece of foil is just not long enough. <laughs> but, uh, by the looks of it, it is long enough. Did 
this is the piece where it overlapped, so there is a... So it didn't cut completely nice. Not at all, actually. So it starts off, okay. And then the fold gets bigger and bigger. So that makes me think... Here it's also screwing it up. So what I think... It has to do with my acceleration on the x-axis. At least most noticeable on the x-axis. It's set really high. And, uh, well, reason is because otherwise it will round off these. Uh, this is, of course, a circle, half circle, but it will, like, cut corners. So I put the acceleration really high, and it looked okay, but this is proof that it's losing steps, I think. So I put the acceleration down. And I just the program once more that it doesn't try to maintain speed, so it will slow down in the corners instead of plowing through them. So that's indeed another fill. Oh, I'm stuck. This one did not cut all the way through, so there are multiple errors. In the end, this is how you learn. At least this is how I learn, unfortunately. I think I had enough for today. I'll adjust the stuff I just said and try it another time because, you know, I can only take so many failures in one day, I guess. That's what made you, you did! I lied. So, for the fourth time and final, I hope. This looks much better, and I'll tell you in a minute why. So it was indeed losing steps due to uh, the acceleration. Let's see if we can get this off. Hopefully the pattern stays on. So this is the piece where it overlaps, and we're past it, so that worked. It's a lot of waste material. And this is, I guess, where it overlapped? I cannot tell, so that's a good sign. Hey, why is one? Why is this one not as long? That might be an error in the drawing. That's done. I'm not gonna redo it because of this. I'll make another one that has this weird thing. Fuck it. I will adjust it. I know, I don't, I, I won't adjust it because I will never make the same panel once more. So now the very tricky thing is adding the mylar. So that's my frame. I cut a piece of mylar that is big enough 
to wrap around my stretching jig. Since cutting my foil in half is too small, and this is way too big. I've got to do again. I have to do it once more. There you have it. That's a panel. Now let's put this away. Wasn't that good fun? It would be nicer if I could like, you know, install the foil, then stick it on here, but I'm afraid I won't get uh, I won't get it off. Would save me quite some work. <laughs> 